Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and as I promised, I am here for my review of BTS's latest third full album, which is entitled Love Yourself Tear. Now guys, you know I love BTS, which is probably why this has been able to come out so quickly because I've listened to the album so many times by now that I've kind of already felt out the songs and how I feel about each one. And while I'm sure things will change in a little bit, and maybe I'll do a retrospective a year from now, maybe I'll release a retrospective of Wings, who knows? But as of right now, I have my initial review and all my thoughts on all the songs after having listened to them a whole bunch. Singularity is the first track on the album and it is a Taehyung solo this time and it is a neo soul track and I feel it in my bones deep, deep, deep. This was the first track that was released. This was released as the comeback trailer as BTS tends to do and the song just hit me really, really hard. I absolutely adore it. It's just a beautiful song and it's the style is probably what gets to me the most. It's something that I grew up with and something that I really love and it fits Young's style so perfectly because it's that kind, has that kind of jazzy feel to it which you really get with Young's songs and it's just absolutely beautiful. Not to mention the fact that you really get to get a chance to listen to Young's vocals just shine. He is probably my, well, I've mentioned this before, but he is my favorite vocalist in BTS. I adore his range. He can hit the high notes. He can hit the low notes. The rasp to his voice is beautiful, yet he's still able to enunciate and make things really clear too. And it's just, oh, it's just a treat whenever I listen to Young. So I absolutely adore this combination of the style and his voice because it just fits so perfectly. The song is absolutely beautiful and just has this melodic feel that builds and drops and it takes you on this ride. The only criticism that I have for the song is that it ends. <laughs> and by that, I mean obviously a song has to end, but there's the way that the song ends, it kind of builds up to another high and it's immediate cut off. I would have liked it a little bit more if there was a bit more of a trail off, a, more of a true ending rather than just we're done it's over kind of thing. Um, but that said, it is still, like I said, an absolutely beautiful song to listen to. And it is definitely one of my favorites. I knew it was going to be one of my favorites the moment that it dropped as a trailer and it still stands as one of my favorites. Okay guys, track number two is Fake Love, which is the title track. And this track, ah, oh, gives me all the feels. So this isn't my absolute favorite title track. Blood, Sweat, and Tears will probably, Blood, Sweat, and Tears and Not Today will probably remain up there, but Fake Love is an amazing song. I love it way more than DNA. Um, and it, there's just something about the song, the way it builds. It starts out very, very soft, but then it builds to this intensity with, especially with Jimin and Jin's vocals, when it hits those Fake Love bits where it's just, it hits you right in the feels um, and the way that the song is able to move from this softer sound to this more intense sound is really really great um, also the song is just fun to listen to there's something about being able to listen to a song that's that just kind of gives you like this like sort of ride this feel to it and it's it's one of those songs where I've been hard to pinpoint exactly what it is that I like about it, but I haven't really been able to find things to pinpoint that I really don't like about it either. It's just this song that just, when it comes on, I really enjoy listening to it. It's just a lot of fun and really enjoyable, which you can't say for every song out there. I just have to say that out there. But Fake Love is one of those songs that just, uh, it delivers without hitting things too much, without being too soft. It's, it's just this nice balance. Okay, The Truth Untold. The first moment that I listened to The Truth Untold, 
I was hit with all of the feels. It's this song that just yanks you down into this ballad and it's just like, come ride with me. And it's absolutely beautiful. One of the things that I love about this song is how stripped down that it is. It still has its backing track. There's still stuff that's going on, but it is so minimal. You're forced to focus on the actual vocals, which one of the things that ballad tracks can sometimes do is you get lost with how beautiful the actual backing track is. Sometimes those backing tracks to a ballad are so beautiful that you don't even need the vocals to go along with it. But this song is so stripped down and minimal that if you didn't have the vocals, the song would fall apart. The, the vocals are what holds this song together because it is that stripped down. It is, it's not quite acapella. There's definitely piano in there and some other things, not much, but without the vocals, this song would fall and the vocal line brings it. They are able to like just pull you through these like rising and falling emotions and it's just absolutely beautiful as you feel things build up before explosions and it's just it's one of those songs where like I listen to it and it just automatically just mellows you out you, it's just hard not to love it listen y'all 134340 is a bop the song is just fun to listen to. You have this like R&B kind of infused with a little bit of hip hop and it's just chill. It is extremely boppy. Yoongi's rap in this delivers and it's just, oh, it's one of those songs where it's just like, you, I turn it on and I immediately want to dance. I want to groove out to it. I just want to enjoy and just love this song. It's just so much fun to listen to um, and that's something that I just love to feel when I turn on an album so being able to just kind of just flow into this it works so well and the thing is even though it's really boppy and really upbeat especially compared to The Truth Untold it works really well as the two songs together because while it's really upbeat and fun and just you just want to get down to it it's not too fast, it's not too upbeat that the transition between The Truth Untold and this, that it feels like jarring or anything. It, it just flows really, really nicely and that's, that's all good with me. Yes! Okay, so Paradise. Paradise is my bomb song. Like, Paradise, Paradise, Paradise. I don't even know how to get all the words when it comes to Paradise because I listen to Paradise and I'm done. Like it comes on and if my mood is down in the dumps, it I don't wanna deal with anything anymore. I don't wanna deal with people. I'm just done. Nothing is making me happy. I listen to Paradise and I'm in the skies. I'm dancing, I'm happy. All my worries just kind of drift away. And it's like I do get transported to this Paradise and it's just, listen y'all. Paradise is my jam. I just, it, it just, it just speaks to me on, on like a level that not many songs can do. And Paradise is just like, I got you, baby. I got you. And I'm like, take the wheel, take the wheel. Let me just tell y'all, if you listen to Love Maze, make sure you listen to it with the correct audio devices because that song will send you. So the song seems really simple, not too intense, but it's still a lot of fun. It brings up, it keeps that energy up that you get from the last song. And it's just, mm. but what I have noticed is if you don't listen with the right audio, like you miss a lot of the things that are going on in the background of the song. Sure, you get the, sure you get the vocals. Sure, you get the bass beats of the music going on, but there is a lot in the track in the composition that's going on in there, which is probably why RM was just like, yeah, this song, this song, like, it's my favorite. And I can see why. It's very, very R&B. It's very chill. Like, you gon', you, you gon' bop, you gon' bop. And it's just really good. But I found that if I don't listen to it in the right, with the right audio equipment, I don't appreciate the, the song as much as I should be listening as much as I should appreciate it. Um, but yeah, it's, 
Love Maze. Love Maze is a bop. This, I keep saying this with this album, but this album is one of those albums that it hits me really well. Okay, Magic Shop. Magic Shop is one of those, is a really, really fun song to listen to. Um, it's less fun fun in that sense, but in the way that it's composed is really interesting because you have this ethereal kind of sound that you get with Magic Shop, but it also delivers something a little bit harder. Like, especially when you get to the raps, it's kind of like this juxtaposition that actually ends up fitting really, really well. Because it's like this ethereal, very light sound and then you get this harder rap and it just works together really well it's a chill song magic shop is a chill song you don't go into magic shop being like i'm about to turn up in the words of taehyung y'all don't do that no you just have to like with magic shop you turn it on and you relax you chill you don't you're not going into like nothing's crazy happening but magic shop pretty pretty song it's more poppy than the other songs on this album as well. Most of the other tracks are very R&B based with hip hop elements or hip hop based, very hip hoppy R&B kind of sound. Magic Shop is definitely the poppy, more pop song. Listen, when I say that Airplane Part 2 is that song, it's that song, I mean that it's that song. It brings the Latin, and it does it really, really well. It's like a chill Latin. When I listened to it, the first thing I thought of was, yo, like, I can imagine this bomb ass tango routine being created for this song and it would be hot as hell and I want that to happen. So somebody out there, please make that happen. Listen, Airplane Part 2, it speaks to me on many levels because I used, grew up listening to like, Latin music because that was just what I was surrounded by and it's just it's just hitting me in all the feels and it's done really really well and uh, just the throwbacks because it's airplane part two to Hussock's mixtape with his part when he comes in on it and I'm just like oh this is just Argh. airplane part two you gotta watch out for that song it'll hit you It'll hit you real hard. And Anpan Man brings it. Like, for a minute I thought that BTS wasn't gonna hit me with one of their more typical, I'm gonna hit you with the hip hop, this is how we do songs. I thought they were gonna go the R&B route for a change. Which, listen, I was not mad at because R&B is my thing, but BTS still brings it. They still brought it with Anpan Man. Anpan Man! Yeah! The song. Like, it's one of those songs that you just, it, like I said before, it's one of those songs, like Paradise, like you just can't not dance to it. It just, yeah, it, you just end up vibing out and you just end up lit and it's just, it, it just brings it. It brings it, Anpan Man. Listen to yourself some Anpan Man and try not to dance. That's what I say, try not to dance. So, I have a lot of feels about So What. As you've probably noticed so far throughout this album, I just, for the most part, I like love all the tracks. Some of them I'm less in, a little bit less enthused than others, but I still love them. So What is that one track where I'm just like, it's not really my thing. It's the only track that's really EDM. I'm not really a huge EDM person. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't quite work for me but one of the things that I noticed is that I like it way more than I ever liked Wings outro which was also very EDM more than I like best of me um, more than I like DNA and I'm not I can't pinpoint right now what it is that I like better about this song but what I can say is that this is one of those songs that I got this feeling where like I don't love this song it doesn't fit as well with the rest of the album but there's something about this song where I know for a fact that this is the kind of song that hits those triggers where if I was drunk, this would be like my favorite song. I would absolutely love it. I would be turning up. I would, I would, I would just be so in love. I'd be out there and you'd be like, like this song ain't that lit, but why is she like over there like acting like it is? Like that's what it would be like. There's something about it that I just know instinctively that if 
I'm not quite sober, this song is going to be, I'm going to be all over it. But on a normal instance, when I'm not, which is most of the time, the song is just, it's good. I'm not finding any major faults with it, but it's EDM and that's not really my thing. And I just don't really enjoy it as much. So there's that. I'm, I listen to the song and this is, this is like the straight hip hop. Like this is the rap line track, outro tier, final song on the album. And it just, it doesn't hold back y'all. It just hits you and I love it. Please, please do this song on tour. I am really hoping, begging, and pleasing that we get outro tier on tour because it is absolutely amazing. The whole song, every verse from the entire rap line is just, it's perfect. It's perfect. I absolutely love it. We didn't get a cypher this time and I'm fine because we got outro tier. Like outro tier really does bring it, it delivers and I just thank you for outro tier. I've now gone over all the songs on this album and I love this album as you can tell. This song, this entire album, it just kind of hits my sensibilities. I'm an R&B hip hop kind of girl and that's what we got and they delivered really high quality songs this time around and I just... Oh, BTS is just, it's just always just hitting me. There's a reason why I listen to BTS like all the time and they they just deliver and I'm happy for it because I'm a happy girl when I get to listen to me some good music and this album is good music. Let me know what you thought of the album in the comments down below and I will see y'all next time. Bye.